Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Please help me today. I've been in that situation too. And really let me know that I'm glad I didn't take the solution that I almost did. That you wanted to. Yes. Yes. Really. But I felt like I had to. So it was a big help. I think that Ellie is a good example for a lot of people because yeah. then you you get to see her in prison. You see the kids hurting. Mm -hmm. You see that. In the end, your kids lose you too. I know. And time out of the show. I was a single parent, That's so right. that would mean a kid would lose you, too. All by himself. Yeah. yeah. Guests of the Oprah Winfrey Show stay at the all-sweet Omni Hotel, located in the heart of Chicago's Magnificent Mile. Guests of our show fly our official carrier, American Airlines. American and American Eagle fly to over 290 destinations in 46 countries around the world. American Airlines, something special in there. Good afternoon. MUC police shot a man after a morning-long drama on Centenese Street. Her bluff was on the scene. A SWAT team sharpshooter fired a bullet into the hand where 30-year-old Daniel Peel had been holding a pistol and keeping police at bay for nearly three and a half hours. The drama began about 8.30 when a caller to 911 reported a gunman in the metro. A policeman spotted him on St. Denis, south of Ontario, and shot him in the knee as the man drew his weapon. After that, the suspect held police off by threatening to kill himself with the gun or a knife he held in his other hand. Police say Peel, alias Daniel Legault, is a key suspect in a series of armed robberies in the downtown area. Herb Luft, Pulse News. Fire in the historic Chateauguay City Hall gutted the interior and sent several firefighters to hospital suffering from smoke and heat exhaustion. Joe Singerman reports. The fire broke out in a basement electrical room at 9 this morning. By noon, it had already destroyed much of the interior and the majority of the city's tax and other records. Firefighters from neighboring St. Constant, Villemercier and Ganawage were called to help. Thick smoke and heat exhausted dozens of firefighters. And I'll have a full report tonight on Pulse at 6. Air Canada will cut 900 jobs by March of 1996. The airline says it lost $23 million in its second quarter, and to keep shareholders happy, the carrier says it will cut costs by $50 million this year, $100 million next year. The job cuts will be made through reducing the number of temporary seasonal employees, attrition, and improved flight crew productivity. Now, have you ever been tempted to bring back that homemade sausage when you return from a trip outside the country? People do it all the time. But smuggling agricultural items into this country is illegal, and more and more people are getting caught. As Colleen Thorpe reports, nothing gets past Agriculture Canada's best detective. Meet Freddy. He's Agriculture Canada's best detective for smuggled meats and plants. Every month he sniffs out about 500 kilograms of forbidden products. I'll have a full report on Paul Set 6. Well, Bloc Québécois leader Lucien Bouchard says it is not likely that there will be changes to the plans to hold a referendum this fall. He says party polls put the yes side ahead. Of course, a date for the vote has yet to be announced. There is golfing today, PGA Championships. Here's Ron Roos with the details. Yeah, they're out at the Riviera Country Club in Los Angeles. Ernie Ells of South Africa fired a 600 par 65 today as a three-shot lead at the tournament, the PGA Championship. Ells is 11 under par at 131, rolled in a 20-foot birdie putt on the par 4, 13th, and then converted a six-footer on 14 to move 10 under. Former U.S. Amateur Champion Justin Leonard Shot a 66 today. He's at 8 under par 134. Jim Gallagher and Mark Amara, who shot 7 under 64s yesterday, are teeing off just at this hour. So we'll hear from about them a little later on. We'll have details coming up at 6.30. Thanks very much, Ron. A weather warning in effect for areas to the north and south of the city. A possibility of thunderstorms until about 6 p.m. this evening. Right now, 27 degrees in Montreal. It's heavy, hazy, a 40% chance of rain this evening. An overnight low near 21. It will be sunny again by the end of the day tomorrow with a high near 27. And in other news of the day, France today warned Russia against unilaterally lifting United Nations sanctions against Serbia. France says it would be a step in the wrong direction for peace in the former Yugoslavia. That's Pulse Update. I'm Bill Hoagland. Join us once again at 6.